Hello and welcome to the Bookables tutorial. Before proceeding with this video, please ensure that you have completed the online interactive forms application tutorial. This is crucial because creating forms and departments is a prerequisite for generating any bookable items within the application. In order to accept payments through the Bookables application, you will need to set up a Stripe account and create a PI keys. All instructions will be sent over to you via the revised support portal along with this video. Now, let's take a look at the Bookables portion of the Interactive Forms application. You will only see this option at the top if you have purchased the Bookables application. In this tutorial, we will be creating a group and adding bookable items within that group. Let's start by clicking on the Bookables tab at the top. Here you will get started by creating a booking group. Booking groups are a way of organizing your bookable items. For example, let's say you have a park and you want to allow people to book the pavilions within the park. You would create a booking group for the pavilions within that park. First, let's create a new booking group by clicking on Create New. In the first field, enter the name of your group. Next, select the department from the dropdown. It's important to make sure you are selecting the proper department where your forms reside. Every bookable item must be linked to a form, and forms must be created before you create the bookable item. Next, enter a URL. This will allow you to share the link wherever you want. Now that we have created our first group, we can add items within the group. First, click on the group name in the table. Next, on the right side, click Create a new bookable item. Here we will go through all the steps of creating a new item. The first step is to fill in the item's description. Name this item. In this example, we will name it Pavilion1. Next, enter a URL. This URL is used to share this specific item, which is different from the URL for the bookable group. Next, input a description. Try to make this as detailed as possible to help users understand it better. Next, we have the data form, which will be the form users fill out when requesting to book. If you do not see the form you have created here, it is one of two options. Either the form is not active or you have not created the form. To activate the form, please navigate to the Forms tab at the top. Locate the form, click on Properties, and under Active, select Active. We have created one and activated it, and for that reason, we are able to see it here. Next, enter any tags to further categorize your booking items. After we have completed this portion, always remember to save your edits. Now, let us add some images under the Manage Images section. To add images, simply click to choose the images from your computer or you can drag them in. Images are a great way to provide users with a better perspective on what they are booking. It's always best to upload clear, high-quality images that effectively showcase your bookable item. We recommend uploading no more than five images per bookable item. Images are saved as soon as you upload them and do not require you to manually save them. To delete an image, just click on the X icon. You can also reorder them by turning on Enable Drag Rewording and just dragging them side to side as needed. Next, we will define the bookable availability here. This section is the most important part of the item. Start by selecting the duration type. This will be crucial in the next step where you will define the duration. In this example, we will select hours. For the duration, you can choose one of the predefined options or you can enter your own if you need to set a longer period. Next, we have the booking limit. In this example, we have a pavilion the booking limit of one. This is helpful if you have an event where you would like to sell tickets and then cap the total number of tickets sold. The selection mode allows users to choose whether they can book just a single slot or a range of consecutive slots. For this example, we will select a range so people can book the pavilion for more than one hour if needed. The next setting is when users should be able to make a booking. The first option is allowed for a rolling period of the next number of days. If selected, you will enter the next number of days this bookable item can be booked. The next option is allowed for days in a specified range. When selected, you will need to set a specified range below. The final option is allowed indefinitely, which is self-explanatory. Now we get to the calendar where you will specify availability. Click on individual days to define single dates or drag to select multiple days to configure availability. Let us select dates when the pavilion can be booked. Click on a date, and here you will get a pop-up with all the options needed to set intervals and enable or disable bookings as needed. Let us set a few intervals that can be booked and apply them to all days going forward. Now that we have the intervals set, each spanning an hour, 
Users will be able to select slots of hours to book. We have three options we can apply to this date. Apply for all Mondays or more options by clicking on the Apply to button. Now you can see it has been added to all Mondays. You can go back to edit anything by clicking on the date. You can also click and drag on dates to select a range. This will allow you to edit the intervals for the days you have selected. Finally, we have to define a price for the bookable slot. If you have something that is free, you must enter the amount as zero. Now that we have all our information filled out, we can check the bookable item we created. Click on back at the top, and this will take you to the bookable group we created. Here, you will see all bookable items you have created under the bookable group. To view a single item, just click on view for that item. You also have the option to edit or delete the item. Please keep in mind that when deleting any item, no data can be retrieved, and deleting a group will delete all items within that group, with no retrievable data. Next, we will check the page of a bookable item. Here is a single bookable item, and this is what the end user will see when they want to make a booking. Let us generate a demo submission and see the result. Here we have filled out the form to book this item as an end user. Remember, the related form must be created before you create any bookable item, and every bookable item is tied to a form. After submitting the form, we receive a submission confirmation. One thing to note, if this bookable item requires payment, you will be redirected to a payment page. Next, let us check our bookings page. This page is located under the bookables tab, then click on the bookings button. Here you will see all your upcoming bookings. You can search for a specific booking and view details about any booking by clicking on the details link under each one. To share a bookable item, go to the bookables tab and click on the group name. Then, click on View for the item you'd like to share. From this page, copy the URL from your address bar and share the link as needed. Now that we have gone through all the steps of creating bookable items, you should be ready to create your own. Thanks for watching, and if you have any issues, feel free to submit a ticket at support.revise.com, and we will assist you as soon as possible.